Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. I'm pretty pissed, to be completely honest. First of all, I've gone to the new sector, we've delayed uh, the fleet by three turns, because one turn is by those buoys, and two turns by uh, booby trapping this cache over here, and then we fought these guys. I've sent over my two mantises to kill them, right? And one of them died, I have no idea how. There was no indication. I, I, I was paying attention most of the time, and he was just gone. And then I was scratching my head, what the hell happened? And then the other one died, and the game crashed. I lost my recording, of course, and now when I, I restarted the game, I figured, you know, it's apparent that, you know, the game saves after every bloody second, apparently. So I'm stuck here without my two mantises, and without the footage. <laughs> it's just, oh my god, what the hell. <sighs> Test your bloody game, people. Jesus. <sighs> I'm almost tempted to just bloody restart now. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed Angie blah blah blah. A young man is in a charred uniform is inside with a fugitive. He expresses his thanks and prepares to fight you first. Oh, so actually... He wasn't, he wasn't attacking us. What the hell was that bullshit? You know what? I'm gonna get these two to fight now. This is absolute bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. I can't even rename him. Just go over there and kill those bastards. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what else to say. And yeah, now that's doing loads of damage. Where the hell is our shield? It's I don't know how the hell the first guy died. I know how the second guy died. He died from the fire because I was too flabbergasted. What the hell happened to the first one? This bloody game. Getting really sick of it. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it for useful materials. Bloody bastards. There. They're both alive. Wow. Thank you, game, for having them both alive. I was really confused. They could have died easily, just like before. <sighs> Absolutely ridiculous. If you're gonna make a roguelike, you better damn make sure it's fair. Not stupid shit like this happens. Well, at least I've still got the two mantises, but one of them was operating the shields. And he wasn't that good at it, actually. Uh, it's just ridiculous. So, let's get Pro Newbie back. Because he died just like that. Except. Okay. Well, we do have some scrap now. Let's go to the store. Now, let's go over here. Uh, yeah. Let's go to these two places and see what happens. An NG vessel hails you. Identify Federation. Outlier probability implies revival, implies hope. Assistance suggested they offer some supplies. Thanks. Not really that thrilled about it anymore. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes to all ships. Search among the... Uh, you apparently spoke to the wrong person You're in your search for a store. Warnings go off and you detect an automated rebel ship moving... I shouldn't even be... I shouldn't even be... Um, recording this, because I'm bloody pissed at the moment. And all this bullshit. I go for the stupid... Yeah, great. Thanks. I can teleport over there and destroy one of the systems with two mantises, but I think you need at least a level two... Um, a level two teleporter so they don't choke. I'm not completely sure. It's been a long time since I've played this, and apparently it'll be a long bloody time when I'll play it again. Because it's just bloody ridiculous. Close the doors. Come on. You guys got that thing operational. There we go. The ship explodes. Blah, blah, blah. Right, we've got 300 odd scrap. I'm gonna save this position, actually, so they can go to the, uh... To the medical bay right away. 
Okay, jump. One more. This. Oh no! If I go to that, then I'll be a. Then I'll have to return to a place we've already been to. Well, 300 scrap will have to do. A message arrives. Your scrap hours are weapons for you. You're talking. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Charge laser. I don't want charge lasers. I want. Yeah. So that's. That's two. That's two shots in 12 seconds, and this is three shots in uh, 12 seconds. What's the bloody point? I don't understand this charge laser. It's just a burst laser in disguise. I guess if you need a shot, you can immediately shoot, but... Halberd beam, emergency respirators, distraction buoys, we already have that. They've got nothing I really want. Fix everything, at least that's cheap. Some fuel. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be uh, upgrading our ship then. There. Level 2 shields. Maybe some more uh, engine power. Let's get more power. There. Uh, maybe upgrade the teleporter. Hmm. Uh, not for now. We'll go like this. Jump to the distress beacon, see what's over there. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Destroy and loot the ship, they're just pirates, or try to dislodge the ship by the shooting of the rocks. You fire a few volleys into the rock and it starts to shudder and break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a beating but eventually pulls free. They thank you for your assistance and give you some stuff. Uh, I guess I should have just destroyed them, they're bloody pirates. What appear to be a single damaged ship is in fact two ships that have smashed into each other. There is a flurry of comm signals and damage and it's hard to determine what occurred. The vessel appears to be NG. They look locked together by the impact and can't free themselves. Attempt to help the ships by prying them apart. To your surprise, one of the NG vessels attacked. Uh, one ship detaches itself, surprisingly still quite whole, and opens fire. It looks like it somehow identified you as hostile. Well, we've got lots of stuff, but nothing we can't sort with, um... Two mantises. Kill them all. No, kill this one, you stupid... Ugh. Why the hell are they going for that way? They're just spreading damage around, that's stupid. There we go. With the ship disabled, the remaining NG ship hails you frantically and explains the situation to you. Apparently you interrupted the equivalent of a consolidation of two ships that were using each other's parts to construct a new vessel. The NG were not truly hostile, their targeting computers had not finished adjusting. There's nothing to be done about it now, you leave the remains of the surviving for the surviving ship. Oh, right, so basically, you know, they were just, I don't know, they just wanted to kill us. Because the computer said so. Computer says no. Well, that was stupid. Oh. Back to your positions. Jump! I need a Vulcan laser, I want that. There must have been a rich, uh, must have been rich pickings for pirates around here up until war broke out. The pirate you encounter here looks worn down, but hungry. You will have to fight. Well, we can fight like this. I don't mind. Just kill them all. They've got a missile, so they're gonna fire that before we can do something, unfortunately. So that's gonna do some damage, but hey. There we go. And of course it does the teleporter. There we go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it off useful materials. Alright, let's repair this. It's quite cool music. The combat version is even better, of course, but we don't have that right now. Let's go and heal up. Well, we just need an NG. And that crystal guy, and something else, I think. There's a new thing in Advanced Edition. Right. Let's jump again. We're certainly getting more scrap now, which is nice. Of course, this is uneasy, and we do have a... Scrap recovery arm. You arrive to find a pulsar dominating the view screen. You see a small silhouette pass in front of the stars. Before you can ponder what it is, a warning signal 
uh, signals go off. It appears to be a ship in firing trajectory. Right, so... Uh, is it... Oh, that Zoltan and, um, and a human again. They can't get through our shields anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll just kill them. The mantises are wonderful for this. Really awesome. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it for useful materials. Well, let's get back. Go. Before another uh, pulsar comes. There we go. O2 system. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, heal up, and then we'll go back. There we go. Okay, now we can go. Actually, I'm gonna wait for my uh, shields. And before another um, blast. Okay, let's go. Uh, there's a store there, let's go to that part first. You make contact with an isolated NG science station who are staying put despite the likelihood of mantis invasion. They suggest you trial some experimental technology. Okay, that was the experimental technology. I was hoping for some, you know, weapons and such. Um, yeah, let's go over here to the store, down, and then to the exit. Scans reveal large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Scrap recovery arm. Attempt to mine the asteroid. You carefully extract as much usable material as possible from the nearest asteroid while waiting for the FTL to charge. 45, that's quite nice, actually. So let's go to the store, see what they have to offer. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG have at this beacon are selling equipment... Oh, hive. For just that. Let's see. Mind control. Cloaking. Cloaking is nice, but it's very expensive. Fire suppression. That's quite nice. Automatically put out fires throughout the ship. Scrap recovery. Another one. Can I have another one? Apparently. They've only got drones. I can fix. I can get more fuel. Well, I guess I'm gonna get another scrap recovery arm. And cloaking. There. Not enough power. Let's get more power than there. Can power everything now. Right. Jump. To here and then to the exit. And we'll be fine. Well, we've got teleport and cloaking. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. That's not a problem. We'll just go for the pilot first. And the Artemis will go for the uh, weapons. I mean the uh, engines, so uh, we delay them. Yeah, kill them all. Now the thing is, you mustn't keep your um, your people on board if they jump away, because that means they are lost. Ow! Right there we go. Don't shoot anymore. We don't want to kill our people on board. The ship goes silent, and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. There we go. Come back, boys. To the med bay you go. Excellent. The mantises are awesome for this. They're just awesome for fighting. Master Q has gotten up uh, his uh, fighting skill. It's quite nice. And let's go back. Yeah, the game is much more enjoyable and easy. Much, much more enjoyable. Exit. There we go. Perfect. You've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A ship refueling station is here. Well, we've got loads of fuel, but let's buy it anyway. Thank you for your business. I don't think we need any more than this, but... Yeah. Well, next time, we're gonna jump to the next sector, and hopefully I'll be in a better bloody mood. But if there's something I don't like, is a game crashing. And, and also losing people because of something. I have no idea what. I mean, it might be possible that... There was a fire, you know, under that guy, and that killed him, but I don't know. I was watching the health, and I have no idea. Anyway, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.